Yo, what is going on, you guys? Angry Cole here, back up with another YouTube video for Dragon Ball Z 2. Sorry for not uploading for about a week. I've been really super busy with school and whatnot, so I just really haven't had the time to sit down and do a YouTube video, so please forgive me for that. But today we will be doing a suggested combo, and the person who suggested the combo is Datboy DJ FTW. So yeah, shout out to Datboy DJ. And yeah, if you guys got a combo you want me to use, make sure you comment down below. And yeah, here's the combo they told me to use. Now for the equipment, I'm just going to be wearing Angle's outfit, nothing too crazy there, the equipment doesn't really matter. Here's Kiki Bang, a plus 5 and Keyblast Super combo, mm. Keyblast Super combos, a plus 5 and Keyblast Supers, plus 5 and Key and Stamina, just, you know, your basic Kiki Bang. A lot of people ask me how I made the Kiki Bang, and the, the way I made it is, I just used two of Beer Beerus' outfit, and then a sense of Bean Sprout, and yeah, that's how I got the Kiki Bang. It's basically Beerus' outfit, like, if you wear his outfit, you'll get the same stats. But, you know, that's how you make the cube bang. For those who are wondering. And for the z -Soul, we're going to be using Before Christian Comes Ruin. Because it is kind of a key by super combo. But you could bring Now It's My Turn. You know, if you just wanted to play it safe. That way their stamina doesn't come back whenever you're trying to land this combo. I'm going to bring, well, that boy DJ suggested that I bring Warwind Blade, Savage Strike, Cross Arm Dive. And I'm just going to bring Meditation because I plan on using Super Saiyan Blue. And then Hell's Flash. Now, I will be bringing for myself Hyper Movement and Meteor Burst. And that is because this combo... It works very well, but these moves kind of make it work a little bit better, or you can kind of swap out Hell's Flash with Meteor Burst and do even more damage. That's why I'm just going to bring them, but yeah. Now I'm going to train and show you guys what this combo looks like. Alright you guys, now that we are in a train, I'm going to show you guys what this combo looks like. I'm going to go ahead and turn Super Saiyan Blue just to show you guys how much damage it does while in Super Saiyan Blue. But basically you want to wait down your opponent's stamina alone enough to break. Go for a stamina break, Warren Blade right after that, double input Savage Strike, and then Cross Arm Dive, and then Hell's Flash. Now what I've noticed is that the CPU gets up before you land the Hell's Flash. So to make sure that doesn't happen in online, I'm going to bring Hyper Movement because it doesn't really affect the combo really. It just kind of makes sure that whoever you're trying to land the combo on doesn't, you know, stand up and just walk away whenever you try to go for the Hell's Flash, you know what I mean? So I'm going to switch the health back to Auto Recovery. That's what I was waiting for, by the way. And I'll just stay in base form. But yeah, you just want to wither down your point of stamina. Go for a regular cylinder break, Warwind Blade, Savage Strike, and then Cross Arm Dive. If you were a hybrid character with better spec stacks, you know, you probably would do a little bit more damage. But you see right there, after I land the Cross Arm Dive, I go straight for hyper movement and then Hell's Flash, and then the CPU doesn't stand up whenever I try to go for the combo. So that's just kind of, you know, to make it a little bit safer. It does take about three bars of stamina whenever you try to go for it because, you know, you are using an evasive. But I just think it's like a. You know, it makes it look, I mean, it looks clean before, but, you know, it just kind of helps us out when it comes to landing the combo. But, yeah, that's the combo. Shout out to that boy DJ. It's a really clean combo. I just, I need to see how well it works online because it seems a little bit tricky with the bot. And maybe because the bot can recover as soon as possible. I'm not sure. But, yeah, let's go into ranked matches and see how well this combo works online. Alright, you guys, we have found our first opponent. We're going against another male slant on Hyperbolic Time Chamber. Okay, it seems like he wants to charge, so I'm just going to go ahead and proc my meditation. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to fit Divinity Unleashed into this preset because, you know, uh, that boy DJ suggested three moves, so yeah, I can't bring Divinity Unleashed. But we are getting clashes, which is very nice. This guy went ahead and turns into three. A perfect block, though. Okay, a little bit of uh, lag, but, you know, that's fine. Oh. I'm gonna knock away and go for another meditation just to reset the buff. Now I'm gonna go. Ahead. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn Super Saiyan Blue. If somebody could find out how that back hit hit me, that'd be great. Oh crap! I didn't have enough for hyper movement. I knew the Hell Splash was still gonna hit, that's why I had to pop his evasive. That's pretty dope how um, whenever it comes out the ground, it can still hit you. You wanna go for a meteor burst? Why not? It's a clean thumbnail. And yeah, that's the first game. We kinda landed the combo, but we didn't kill him with it, I guess. I don't know why his stamina came back so fast. Maybe it's because he had just got two bars of stamina under our stamina welcome. I don't know, but yeah, GG. That guy's pretty cool for not popping his limit burst. On to the next match. Alright, you guys, we have found our next opponent. We're going to get to a female Majin. I'm kinda glad I switched it now. It's my turn. Oh my god, the stamina. 
He's probably using now's my turn. Try to go for a grab. I hate how that still makes you after him. It's like they should switch the recovery button from the after image button. Alright, so he popped his limit burst, which is nice. We got a clash, which is nice. We gained some key from that. Oh god. I'm just gonna knock him and go ahead and go for meditation. I don't think I'm gonna be able to land this combo scout. Just because Super Saiyan Blue plus a female Majin with their stamina broken, that's just too much damage. can't do that though. So I just kind of made up something. I used Savage Strike with the double input after the stamina break and then I went ahead and went for hyper movement because I knew it was going to take too long for me to fly back down and then use Hell Splash. He would have stood up and dodged it. So I just went for The match was already over and he rage quit. I don't, I don't even know how to explain that. But yeah, I used hyper movement to make it where I could land Hell Splash. That's pretty interesting. I did not, I mean, I don't really see a point, you know, you kind of, I don't know. On to the next match, GG. Alright you guys, we have found our next opponent, we're going to get to Mel Sand, who I'm so jealous of because he has the Tapion outfit, but he changed the color of it. He wants to charge the key, I'm down with the charge the key. Go ahead. Nope, go ahead. Nope. Go ahead, nope. No? Okay, okay, he wants to fight. Try to let him charge the key, I guess he just wanted the buff. To be honest, you really don't even need to charge the key with any of it. Okay, he's put off him twice in a row with the back hit, so... Going for back hits is a bad idea, this guy. Ooh, I don't know how we didn't clash. It's funny, he got the stamina break on his screen, but... Jesus, that... I, don't, I did not think that cross on dog was going to land. Oh, he probably going to burst. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna turn Super Saiyan Blue though. Jeez, that was a bad time to have them. I got the hit mark, but... This is gonna be close. Aw, oh, crap, come on. GG. GG, oh my god. I almost had a heart attack during that because I did not want to lose. Um, that was a pretty good match. I just kind of wish he didn't pop his limit burst. But hey, that was a really good match. Oh my god. I'm almost out of breath because whenever matches like that happen, I get intense breathing. But whew, that was a really good game. So yeah, shout out to Legendary Izzy or Isaiah the, Pl oh, Isaiah the Player 22. I couldn't really read his gamer tag. That was a really close game. Oh my god. Alright, GG. On to the next match. Alright guys, we have found our final opponent. We're going against Johnny Boy. So yeah, shout out to Johnny Boy. Turn Super Saiyan Blue. Oh no. That's not Super Saiyan Blue. It's Super Vegeta. Yeah. I like how the wig stays black whenever you transform. Ooh. I have no key to do this combo. Try to go for a knockaway. There we go. Got the meditation off. That'll help me gain some key. Can't like pop yours. We already got like 10 bars anyway. 
Okay, that would. I think I do have enough to land it. So one, two, three, six. I could. I'm, I don't want to say I could have perfect block it, but if I did, I would have broken stamina. That cross on dodge takes a little bit to use. Yeah, with the hyper move, it makes it like perfect. Like, I really like to use this move with hyper movement because that cross on dialog is taking its time. But I could see how you know that would work because you know you think the cross on dialog brings you to the ground and attacks them, so you think you have enough time to use it. But for some reason, it takes them forever to use it. I guess like whenever you flip out of it. But anyways, GG. Shout out to Johnny DeBoy. And yeah, now on to the outro. Alright you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys do enjoy. Shout out to that boy DJ for this in the combo. It does work very well online. I kind of like my little tweak to the combo with hyper movement. I just feel like it makes it perfect because, you know, it just helps with landing it. Um, it may be me though. I may be using it incorrectly. So if you guys, you know, have like a tip in the comments or that boy DJ, if you're watching this video, let me know if I'm using it wrong um, or you think hyper movement is a good improvement to the combo. The only thing that makes it a little bit, you know, worse is that, you know, it takes three bars of stamina. So if you don't have three bars of stamina, you can't really go for the ultimate. Um, but it does work because Hell Slash kind of like sprays everywhere once you shoot it, you know, it goes into the ground and then shoots like beams from the ground almost all over the place. So it will kind of land if they at the range behind you, but yeah, bring now it's my turn because it's kind of a lengthy combo and that's not a bad thing. I, I love lengthy combos. It's just, you know, but yeah, if you guys know this video, don't forget, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and shout out to that third match. That was a close game. I, I'm so glad I didn't lose. Um, like it's just something about me kind of, yeah, that was a really fun match. And yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more. And yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Peace.